I offer neither pay nor quarters nor food. I offer only hunger, thirst, forced marches, battles, and death. Let him who loves his country with his heart and not merely his lips follow me. I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. Nathan Hale It's often said that the greatest heroes meet their end with a smile on their faces. For Charles Keating IV, a Navy SEAL and one of the greatest warriors of our time, that moment came on May 3rd, 2016. But his story doesn't end there. This is a story of courage, sacrifice, and a legacy that will never be forgotten. On May 3rd, 2016, at 7.30 a.m., a U.S. advance and assist team accompanied by Kurdish partner forces was stationed in the town of Tel Scuf, Iraq during what was Charles Keating's third deployment. The team was providing critical support to the Kurdish forces, who were leading the fight against ISIS. Suddenly, without warning, a large and heavily armed force of over 100 ISIS fighters, equipped with 19 armored vehicles and a heavily modified bulldozer, launched a surprise attack on the town. The U.S. team, consisting of less than a dozen service members, found themselves severely outgunned and outnumbered. They were in a precarious position, pinned down by intense enemy fire. The situation was dire, and the team was in urgent need of reinforcement. Luckily, Special Warfare Operator First Class Charles Keating was part of a quick reaction force, QRF, racing to their rescue. The QRF was a highly trained and elite team, equipped to respond to situations just like this. They were the best of the best, and Charles was one of their most skilled and experienced operators. As they approached the town, they could hear the intense gunfire and explosions, and they immediately knew they had to act fast. By the time they arrived, the enemy had already breached the front lines and infiltrated the town, putting the U.S. team and their Kurdish partners in grave danger. The situation was critical, and Charles and his team knew they had to act swiftly to turn the tide of battle. Special Warfare Operator First Class Charles Keating and his team swiftly took up a strategic position on a rooftop in the town, joining forces with the advanced and assist team. However, they soon found themselves completely encircled by the enemy in the intense battle. Until this point, the Kurdish partner force had been convinced that their situation was hopeless and they would not escape alive. But Charles had a reputation for his unwavering support and admiration for the Kurdish people. Having spent considerable time fighting alongside them and providing assistance both on and off the battlefield. As a result, the partner force was intimately familiar with his exceptional skills and capabilities. When Charles arrived on the scene, he brought a much needed surge of hope to the besieged soldiers, instilling in them a renewed sense of determination and resilience. His presence was a beacon of light in the darkness inspiring the Kurdish forces to continue fighting with renewed courage and conviction. Without hesitation, Charlie assumed command of the situation, swiftly identifying enemy locations and directing his teammates' firepower with precision. Given the gravity of the situation, they were fortunate to receive an unprecedented level of air support, including F-15s, F-16s, drones, B-52 bombers, and multiple A-10 warthogs. The skies were filled with a relentless barrage of firepower, unleashed to thin the enemy's overwhelming numbers. Tragically, one of the initial bombs missed its mark, landing just behind the enemy's position. This miscalculation had disastrous consequences, as the enemy was forced to advance aggressively, pushing forward onto the team's position with renewed ferocity. The situation for Charlie and his team deteriorated rapidly, becoming even more precarious and dire. As one of Charlie's teammates astutely observed, the most skilled and courageous warriors always find themselves in the most perilous positions during intense firefights. Someone has to hold the line, no matter the danger, and Charlie exemplified this unwavering commitment to his team and mission. With unshakable resolve, he stood firm, refusing to yield in the face of overwhelming odds. The men who had the privilege of fighting alongside Charlie remembered him as a warrior, who embodied fearlessness and selflessness in the heat of battle. Without hesitation, he consistently put himself in harm's way to protect his comrades, demonstrating unwavering dedication to his team. A 
Approximately two hours into the intense firefight, the situation became even worse. With the enemy forces closing in, and Charlie holding a critical position under relentless attack. Despite the hail of bullets flying alarmingly close, Charlie stood firm, single-handedly taking out dozens of enemy fighters and preventing them from outflanking his teammates. His bravery and skill were a beacon of hope in the chaos, inspiring his comrades to continue fighting against overwhelming odds. Tragically, however, one stray round managed to penetrate his body armor, inflicting a mortal wound. Despite the valiant efforts of his team to treat his wound and the remarkable speed with which they evacuated him from the battlefield, Charlie's injuries proved to be fatal. In the end, Charles Keating made the ultimate sacrifice, giving his life to save his brothers in arms. His selfless acts of courage and devotion left many puzzled as to what kind of man put himself on the line for his team. Charlie Keating was raised with a strong sense of purpose and patriotism. He was born on February 1st, 1985 in Phoenix, Arizona, into a family with a proud tradition of athletic excellence. His father, Charles Keating III, was an accomplished competitive swimmer who had represented the United States at the 1976 Summer Olympics, while his grandfather had made a name for himself as a national college champion in the two-yard breaststroke at the NCAA Swimming and Diving Championship. More so, he was related to the renowned Olympic medalist Gary Hall Sr. and Gary Hall Jr., further solidifying his family's reputation as a dynasty of athletic achievers. Charles was a champion runner in high school and college, but after 9-11, he felt called to serve his country. Charlie left college to become a Navy SEAL, completing grueling training in 2008. As a Navy SEAL, Charlie served in Iraq and Afghanistan, leading teams in completing high-stakes missions with bravery and skill. He earned the respect and admiration of his comrades and played a critical role in several successful operations. Charlie's leadership skills and tactical expertise made him a valuable asset to his team. Throughout his military career, Charlie remained dedicated to serving his country and protecting his fellow Americans. His courage, leadership, and unwavering commitment to his team inspired those around him, making him a respected and beloved member of the Navy SEAL community. In February 2015, Charlie was deployed to Iraq for the third time, supporting Operation Inherent Resolve. His military decorations include the Silver Star, Navy Cross, Purple Heart, Bronze Star Medal with Valor, Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, Army Achievement Medal, Iraq Campaign Medal, Afghanistan Campaign Medal, National Defense Medal, and Rifle and Pistol Expert Ribbons. Thanks to Charlie's heroic actions, no other U.S. troops were injured in the battle, and the Kurdish forces were able to regain control of Tel Scuf. The enemy suffered significant losses with over 70 ISIS fighters killed and all of their armored vehicles destroyed. Charlie's bravery and selflessness had a profound impact on the outcome of the battle, and his sacrifice will never be forgotten. A few days later, one of Charlie's platoon mates wrote a heartfelt letter to his parents, expressing the depth of their loss. Please share with everyone that Chuck saved countless lives that day, the letter read. He left us with that signature smile on his handsome face, just as he always did. Chuck was a kind and compassionate soul, full of aloha, but he was also a fierce and formidable warrior. His legacy will live on in our hearts forever. The letter captured the essence of Charlie's character. Remembering him as a brave and selfless warrior who had made the ultimate sacrifice to protect his comrades and the Kurdish forces. Charles Keating IV's parents, Charles and Mary Ellen Keating, were deeply moved by the heartfelt letter from their son's platoon mate. In a poignant interview, Charles Keating III expressed their profound pride and gratitude saying, we were, and still are, incredibly proud of our son. He gave his life doing what he loved, and he died a true hero. Mary Ellen Keating added, The letter brought us great comfort, knowing that Chuck's ultimate sacrifice was not in vain. It meant everything to us to hear that he had made a lasting impact on the lives of his fellow SEALs. 
The Keating family has continued to honor their son's legacy with dedication and passion, establishing the Charles Humphrey Keating IV Memorial Fund to support Navy SEAL families and veterans organizations. Through this fund, they have ensured that Chuck's memory lives on, inspiring others and making a tangible difference in the lives of those who serve. The Keating family's tributes and charitable efforts serve as a testament to their enduring love and pride for their son, a true American hero.